Hi guys, welcome to my first manga haul video of 2023. I hope this year has been going well for you guys. And in this video, I'll be showing the newly released volumes of the series that I'm currently reading or are planning to collect in future. These mangas are all in Japanese and I got them from Mercury and Animate. So without further ado, let's go straight into the unboxing. Firstly, we have Blue Box. This is a manga about sports and romance from Shonen Jump. This is the 8th volume and I like this manga. The story is wholesome, cute, and sometimes funny. Although this is shonen manga, there is a huge female audience as well, so if you have not heard of it, please check it out if you like the romance genre. We get a coaster as a bonus for buying this volume, and it looks amazing. If you know me well, I will never use this coaster. It's too beautiful and I want to keep it permanently in my collection. Let's take a look at the main cover. I have always been a fan of their cover design. It's clean and gorgeous. Look at Chinatsu Senpai in the maid costume. This is how you boost the sales of the manga, you know. Let's check out the obi. Here's a recommendation from another popular manga car that I'm not very familiar with. And they also had a collaboration with Kelpis, the soft drink brand. The inner cover has the same design but in black and white. I also got this blue box photo set from another seller. Just a fun fact, in Japan they call it bromide. I forgot when this happened but this is Hina in her kimono. Chinatsu. Oh wow, this is so cute. Chinna and Chinatsu in their pajamas. And our boy, Taiki. Next up, we have Witch Watch. This is also the 8th volume. It is a comedy series that is pretty popular right now. I have only read the first volume, but I already loved it. We got a nice postcard exclusive to this volume. Alright, let's take a look at the main cover. The cover design of Witch Watch has been pretty unique. The colors are always kind of oversaturated, and you can immediately tell it's Witch Watch. Their inner cover is quite interesting as they will use drawings from the manga. Wow, is this Wolverine or something? Yeah, what makes this series so interesting is that there are always references to other series or real life events. And I noticed they really like to put these cute characters on the cover. His previous work was Scat Dance and I think it was really great as well. I also like how much effort they put into designing this OB, so please pick up this series if you like. Next up, we have Goddess Cafe Terrace. This is also the 8th volume. As a slice of life from Com series, I think it has a pretty slow start. However, from the reviews I've read, the recent volumes seem very interesting, so I'm quite excited to read them. They will be getting an anime adaptation in April as well, so you might want to check it out before the anime. Oh yeah, my favorite is this Twin Tail by the way. The art style is also very gorgeous, and I love to keep them in a clear folder. Moving on, we have another package from Animate Japan. This is my first time buying from them, and honestly, I'm super satisfied with the service. I like how they package it in the way that they will move around during shipping. So firstly, we have volume 13 of Chainsaw Man. I believe I don't need an introduction to this series, it's one of the most popular mangas right now. To be honest, I've only watched the anime, I haven't read a single volume of the manga, so I have no idea who this character is. But one thing I know is that Chainsaw Man has officially entered the second part, so I can't wait to collect the full series and read it. As stated on the OB, the Chainsaw Man manga has sold over 23 million copies worldwide, which is totally insane. 
The inner cover design is pretty minimalist, but it fits the tone of the main cover. I'm not a fan of the art style here, but I like how cinematic it is. Next up is the latest volume of Ayakashi Triangle. I already had the full series in my collection, you can check out my collection video if you haven't yet. The anime is currently airing, and actually the quality of the anime is better than what I expected but it's still nowhere near the manga. I think Kentaro Yabuki has one of the best drawing skills in the manga industry, and I really 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 like his art style. We can see the anime promotion on the OB here. Wow, I didn't know they had a 2 level exhibition in January to celebrate the 15th anniversary. As usual, we have Shirogane at the inner cover and we can even see his balls here. Well, aside from the amazing fan service, I find the series really funny sometimes. You never get bored reading it. The story also gets more interesting over time, so I would say at least read till volume 3 to get a taste of this manga. Next up, we have Dandadan. Dan. I highly highly recommend this series if you love the action genre, and I believe it's very popular among the manga community right now. The story is super interesting, you could never see what's gonna happen next, and it is also very captivating, you will just keep flipping through the pages without realizing the passing of time. If you didn't know the order of Dandadan, Yukinobu Tatsu used to be an assistant for Tatsuki Fujimoto, who is the order of Chainsaw Man and Fire Punch. Among all of the assistants, he has the best drawing skill. Dandadan is being serialized on Jump Comics Plus, and this platform has so many amazing mangas. Apparently, there will be a lucky draw as well, and wow, these are so cute! As usual, the inner cover will have the information about the creatures they encountered, and wow, this is so interesting. And <laughs> this made me laugh so loud. I don't know what the hell they're thinking, but I can't wait to read this. Here's a full view of the cover, and I like how there are so many running scenes in the manga. I like that they have a few color pages which is not very common. I have to say again, take a look at the panels. His drawing is amazing and I really really like it. So this is Dandadan, Dan Dan. please check it out, I highly recommend it. This is the last manga of this video and it's Oshinoko which roughly translates to the idol I support or the children I support. The story is written by the author of Kaguya-sama and the manga is drawn by the author of Scum's Wish. I haven't read a single chapter yet but I heard it's a dark story about the idol industry. I can't tell how many people have recommended me this series so I thought I wanted to check it out and I will be collecting the full series soon. If you didn't know, this series will be receiving an anime adaptation in April, and the first episode is going to be 90 minutes long. It is going to be a super impressive episode, I feel, and I can't wait to read the manga before the anime airs. Wow, the design on the inner cover is very interesting as well. And I noticed the cover is full of stars, just like how an idol is. If you have read this, please let me know what you think about this series. I am very curious. Very beautifully drawn color page. The art style also looks amazing, and I don't want to spoil it for myself. This manga is also slightly bigger than the usual Tankobon. Now here are some of the bonus items from Animate. This is the postcard from Chainsaw Man, and some of the cards from the Jump series. So here's Oshinoko, 
Kubo-san, I really like the anime, it's so sweet, it's so wholesome. I have no idea what this is. You can let me know in the comments below if you recognize this series. Also, I don't know this. Oh, there's one more at the back. This is PPPPPP. <laughs> Seems like a very popular music manga. In this haul, I also bought the Mind Girl magazine. It's about voice actors. And here we have the voice actress of Spy Classroom. These are some of my favorite voice actors, and the photos look stunning. The anime so far has been pretty average, but I recommend you to read the light novel if you are interested in the story. It's super captivating. So that's it for this video. If you have any manga recommendations, feel free to drop it down in the comments below. I'll make sure to check each and every single one of them. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you haven't yet, please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. I'll be really happy for that. And feel free to drop a like as well. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!